Good morning, guys. Hey, Scott with Heritage Farms, Texas. Well, it's Easter morning. Happy Easter, everybody. Just hope you guys have a chance to enjoy your families today and uh, spend some time reflecting on what this day means. Uh, hey, guys. Well, here we are, North Texas, springtime. Guess what? It's raining again. You can see there's the fence project. We've tackled the flower bed in the back. Got to put a retaining wall in, but we're making progress. But what are we working on today? Well, let me show you. Today, we are going to do a review. Well, not a review, but we're just going to talk about my Bighorn gun safe that I just picked up. Well, this is something I've been wanting to purchase for years and years and years. Actually, ever since we got married. Uh, I always just think there's an importance uh, to have a place to keep stuff secure. I mean, we used to have safe deposit boxes and little metal boxes that we would put documents in. Uh, trust me, I, I'm gonna put some guns in here, but I'm not a gun collector. Most of the guns I have are for more actual purpose. They're actually riding around in the Kubota. They're dusty. They're in storage container. They're in, you know, the pickup truck. Wherever I'm going is where the guns are. Normally I got a real cheap shotgun a uh, cheap assault rifle and a couple of handguns that uh they, they go where i go they're scratched up they're dented they're not show guns they're not beautiful things you're going to put in a glass display case i am not a gun collector but i do need a place to keep my guns don't want them laying around for somebody to break in the house and steal them also don't want uh, kids to get them or anything so it's important to have a safe but more importantly we have so many photos of the girls, videos when they were babies, uh, important documents, deeds to the house, and you know, just important stuff that you need to keep, wills and things of that nature, uh, some jewelry that we had over years and stuff. But I mean, you know, it's just stuff to, you need a place to keep stuff. I mean, in the event if there's a tornado and the wind comes and rips the house apart, some of those things you can't replace and you need a place to keep them. Uh, the other thing about it is, uh, you know, who knows if the house burns down, all of your important documents and everything, uh, it's nice to have them. So uh, I did some searching around and I've watched a ton of YouTube videos. And let me tell you, gun safes are about as political as uh, the president of the United States. Everybody has an opinion on them and uh, there is such a wide variety of them. I mean, you can get them small, you can get them big. You can get them from $200 all the way up to $10,000. I mean, uh, and it really comes down to what are you trying to accomplish? I mean, looks, preference, are you looking for value? Will it get the job done? Uh, here's my requirement. Uh, I wanted something that would last in a fire over an hour. If the house catches on fire, the fire department is literally one mile down the street from me. So. Uh, I'm not too worried if the house is on fire, somebody's gonna call the fire department and they're gonna be here pretty fast. So I don't think, it's not like where I'm gonna be in the country and the house is gonna burn to the ground before the firemen get here. So uh, that was one of the requirements. I wanted a gun safe that was gonna last about an hour. I also wanted a gun safe that was big enough, heavy enough that two guys aren't just gonna easily throw it in the back of their pickup truck and run off with it. I mean, this big boy is gonna be bolted to my office floor with concrete anchors. And uh, it, once I put it there, it's there. This one weighs like uh, right at 600 pounds. So uh, that was a requirement that I had. So uh, let's look at the inside of this thing. Hold on. Ooh, can't tell you this. It's a top secret combination. So you press in the code. And you can see it did not work. Let's try again. Locked down. Well, that's a good safe. It's keeping its owner out. Try again. Hmm. Let's just see here. Hold on. Ah, there we go. Okay. So, this particular gun safe here came from Costco. And one thing I like about Costco is they have a lot of stuff online that they don't have in the stores. Normally, if you see a gun safe at the store, it's one that somebody returned or was dented or scratched. Uh, but most of the time, you order online and they ship it back. So, 
This model here was the Bighorn. Uh, it holds up to 24 guns. You can see it's got the cutouts. If you wanted to, all these shelves are adjustable. I haven't even messed with them yet, but there's uh, one, two, three, four shelves. You know, you can move up, down, leave one side open for guns. I like this particular model because it had pouches on the door for stuff, had a place to put your um, handguns up here, which I really like. This particular one also had the five bolts on the side and it's got one on the top and the bottom. So you can kind of see, I mean, it's, uh, it's pretty good. Now what they tell you about gun safes is this right here, everybody opens the door and they're going, ooh, look how thick that is. Well, this section right here does nothing structurally. All this is is just a cover over the mechanism that works the bolts and the locks and everything else. There's really no strength to this right here. It's more composite metal, uh, a lot of air, honestly. This particular safe though, when you go to Costco and you look at the Bighorn brand, which is part of Rhino safes, you'll see uh, different fire ratings. Some of the ones they have are 30 minutes. This is the uh, top end of the Bighorn line, which trust me, Bighorn was a line they basically developed, Rhino Metals did to uh, sell in box stores, which nothing wrong with that. This, this safe here, unfortunately, hate to admit it, was made in China. Not happy about that, but it'll go 75 minutes, 1400 degrees Fahrenheit. Here's the, where safes get really, the difference between a really cheap one and a more expensive one is in the door. What you can't see is that's not a one inch thick metal. This thing has probably, I'm gonna guess, not much more than an eighth inch or so uh, metal sheen on it, and then they actually come back on the back with a composite material. It's just, or, or a frame and they finish it off. So, but once again, for my purposes, I have to press the magic code again to get the that to come back in. The door has a good solid feel. Right now, sitting on the pallet, it's a little bit uh, top heavy. So we're gonna figure out how to get this thing into uh, my office here very shortly. But one secret, when you have a safe open like this, you see these hinges, and I apologize, it's a little dark, but you can actually lift this door straight up. And on this particular safe, I'm guessing this door is probably about 350 pounds and this portion back here is probably about 250 pounds. So to make this thing easy to move, we're gonna take this dolly right here, set it underneath this door. I'm gonna get some buddies and some friends and we're gonna lift this door up and set it on that dolly, carry the door into the house by itself put some blankets down, set it over there against the wall. Then we're gonna come back and get this big bad boy, which then is like basically moving a refrigerator, but a little bit easier. Uh, we'll take that in there. While the door is off, we'll actually come in here. You can see, I don't know if you can see that or not, probably not, but it's got four pre-drilled holes in the bottom. We'll actually uh, do our concrete anchors, bolt it to the ground. Look at this, they sent these little cheap, three inch concrete anchors. Mm, that's not gonna cut it to my standards. <laughs> we'll put some big six inch mega bolts into the concrete and uh, come hell or high water, this thing's gonna be the only thing standing. Anyway, it does have a nice little seal on it, the fire heat activated seal that comes in. So depending on what you are or what you like, you know, it's kind of like the debate, Ford, Chevy, or Dodge. When it comes to gun safes, you can spend a lot. Let me tell you about this though. This one here uh, was like 900 bucks, Costco online, delivered. The packaging showed up, the box you can see was in good shape. They didn't use uh, wood pallets and I'm actually okay with it. They used these metal runners bolted to the bottom and I'm glad they didn't use uh, wood ones because wood ones are bigger, it's harder to maneuver on the truck. Uh, they have a tendency to break and then the safe wants to fall over. So I kind of like that they use the metal runners. Uh, they used r &L freight carriers. And let me tell you what, what a great guy that came out. Awesome driver. He had a positive attitude. We were his 10th stop on the day, the last one. You would have thought he'd have been tired and wore out, but this guy was so alive and full of energy. Uh, they only offer driveway service where they drop it off to your driveway. 
but let me show you something. We got a pretty long driveway. So really technically they come with a lift truck to the end of the driveway. This guy had a pallet jack and we helped him and he just rolled it right up here and set it in here. So now of course I got to figure out how to get it in the house and get it bolted down in my office, but uh, I'm just tickled to death. So uh, I think it's going to fit my needs. There's going to be a lot of people that are going to leave comments down here saying, oh, that's a cheap safe. Oh, well, you know what? Nothing's bulletproof, but I think it's going to work in my application. And uh, once again, you know me, I'm all about value. And um, yeah, it'd been nice to have a $5,000 safe and boy, it would have been pretty and shiny and yeah, it would have withstood the test of time. But here's the reality. The difference in 70 minutes of fire resistance versus 90 minutes of fire resistance, let's face it, if you reach that point in your life, things are going bad regardless. And at that point, your $5,000 pretty safe is gonna be all burnt up on the outside anyway. So that being said, I made a decision to go this route. Hopefully it'll pay off and we'll see. But uh, I'll give you an update once we get it uh, deliver <laughs> delivered, set up in my office and uh, we'll go from there. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Okay, well, we actually got the Bighorn safe into my office. Undisclosed location, but uh, I tell you what, I like it so far. Um, <clears throat> it was pretty hard to get it in there. I have to admit, man, 600 pounds doesn't seem that heavy, but uh, we had it out in the garage where the freight company delivered it. From there, you know, we uh, took it off the uh, metal uh, pallets that it came on, set it on the concrete floor. I had a uh, basically an 800 pound dolly. It wasn't quite a refrigerator or appliance dolly, but it's a big beefy dolly. We were able to get that under uh, one side. <clears throat> First thing we did was we wrapped the safe in cardboard that the safe came in, uh, basically put towels or blankets around it, and then uh, cable strapped or ratchet strapped the safe to the dolly. Then we laid out car uh, cardboard on the uh, wood flooring in the house. Uh, we had a couple of little eaves that we had to go under, a little step up, so we put some boards there to basically not make a ramp, but uh, just to make it where it wasn't like a two inch or three inch up climb. So uh, anyway, uh, my son-in-law grabbed one side of the dolly, I grabbed the other, had uh, one of my daughters uh, help push, um, <clears throat> and we just guided it right through, got it in here and set it down. I have to admit, uh, our forearms and uh, shoulders and everything were definitely hurting. It's a lot of weight, uh, but the dolly made good work of it. And uh, bottom line, we got it here. So uh, got it bolted in place and uh, we're ready to go. So uh, the thing I like in this little corner of uh, my office, I've got a little area, a little cubby hole over to the side. I can throw my gun cases and everything over there. So when I get ready to go, it's just like going to a closet, picking out the proper gun for the day put it in the appropriate case and off to the farm I go. Whether it's uh, hog hunting, duck hunting, dove hunting, snake hunting. That's probably the primary hunting that I do. Yep, snake and hog hunting, that's probably the two primary ones. But anyway, hey, there you go. Uh, once again, the Bighorn safe, not the most expensive safe in the world, not the cheapest safe in the world. This is a uh, mid-level, entry-level type safe, but you know what? It's gonna work for what I want it to do. Didn't pay a ton of money for it, and I think it's gonna work, uh, and I'm pretty happy with it. All right, guys, if you like what you see, hit the thumbs up, smash the like button, leave us a comment. Talk to you soon, thanks.